Alright, so starting off this list at number 10, we have a perk from Modern Warfare 2, and that is Lightweight. Lightweight is also in Black Ops, but it isn't as popular since it's in a much stronger tier in Black Ops. One of the biggest advantages to Lightweight in Modern Warfare 2 was it gave you the ability to get into the enemy team's spawn quicker than your teammates, and be able to keep flanking the enemy team before they even had a chance to prepare for you coming. I believe Lightweight is such a benefit to you in Modern Warfare 2 that it actually sort of hurts the spawn system because you can get spawn killed often due to the fact that someone using Lightweight is able to get to you so quickly even though he was far away when the game chose your spawn point. And also Lightweight is probably the main reason why those tactical knifers running around are so annoying. Overall though, Lightweight gives you such a big advantage when it comes to getting kills as quick as possible which puts it the number 10 best perk in Call of Duty history. Alright, coming at number 9 is another perk from Modern Warfare 2, and that is Ninja. Now some of you may be a bit surprised at this one, but a lot of you may not have realized how big of an advantage this perk gave you. First of all, you are completely invisible to heartbeat sensors, which are very popular in Modern Warfare 2, much more than Modern Warfare 3. That right there can give you a big advantage since most likely 2-3 to three of the players in the enemy team who are using it will have no clue you're coming, unless of course there's UAV out, which will give you an upper hand in the gunfight. But there is one other way they can know that you're coming, and this is much more prominent in Modern Warfare 2 than any other Call of Duty, and that is your footsteps. Well with Ninja Pro, you don't have to worry about that as your footsteps were completely silent with it on. The fact that this perk can give you such a big advantage sneaking around, which in turn gives you an upper hand in gunfights, along with the fact that it is in a weaker tier in Modern Warfare 2, puts out the number 9 best perk in Call of Duty history. Now coming in number 8 is a perk that has been in multiple Call of Duties, and that is the perk Scavenger. Scavenger as we all know gives you ammo resupply from dead enemies. Scavenger is one of those perks that for some guns, it is a must perk to have. Most of the time it is used with SMGs that run out of ammo very quickly, most of the time due to the gun having a high rate of fire. Another big benefit is that the pro perk gives you extra magazines, so you'll almost never have to worry about running out of ammo. One of the biggest benefits though that puts this perk on this list is the fact that it will replenish your explosives. Now in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 there's certain restrictions to this in terms of explosives, but I don't have time to get into all the details on that. But regardless, replenishing things like grenades is something that really can be taken advantage of and is something that people really take advantage of in Modern Warfare 2, almost to the point where explosives are abused with this perk. Overall though, the fact that some guns have to have this perk equipped in order for them to be used for more than 2 or 3 kills, along with just the plain fact that this perk makes lack of ammo never a problem, puts it the number 8 best perk in Call of Duty history. Alright now, coming at number 7 is another perk that has been in multiple Call of Duties, and that is Steady Aim. In fact, Steady Aim has been in every single Call of Duty since their creative class system began back in Call of Duty 4. Steady Aim, of course, gives you your gun greater hip fire accuracy. Perks that affect gun-on-gun -gun gameplay are really useful and really popular in the Call of Duty series, and Steady Aim is one of those perks. It pretty much makes you win all of your very close-range gunfights with it equipped. Now, in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, it has a very good benefit when the Pro version is unlocked, which is the ability to aim quicker after sprinting, which makes it a perfect perk for rushers. Also, Steady Aim can make dual-wielded weapons extremely deadly, even sometimes at medium ranges for some guns. It actually is probably a must perk to use with any dual-wielded gun. Overall, the sheer popularity and the amount of advantage it gives rushers in their gunfights puts Steady Aim at the number 7 best perk in Call of Duty history. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. Once again, it is impossible for everyone to agree on this list, but I've done the best job I can to make it an unbiased top 10 list. If you feel like your favorite was not included, feel free to post what you think in the comments. Now, if you guys are really enjoying these top 10s showing the best Northeast in Call of Duty history, be sure to leave me a like rating and favorites are encouraged as well. 
More importantly, be sure to share this with your friends on Twitter and Facebook and let other commentators know about it as well. The more people that vote for these top 10s, the more accurate they will be. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see ya!